What's going on YouTube? Today we've got NBA Legends explain why Michael Jordan was unstoppable, man. Um, we're gonna roll the 5,000 subscribers, turn on post notifications, tell me which one to react to next, man. The last Michael Jordan reaction will be at the end of the video, stay tuned for that. My Models affiliate link is also in the description. Um, if you're looking to shop at Models, man, if you use my link, it'll be greatly appreciated and you'll be helping your boy out. Without further introduction, man, let's get into it. And Smitty can attest to this. We had to guard him, you know, 35 to 40 minutes a game. And he was the shack of shooting guards because there's no way you were going to move him off the post. He was cat quick. And on top of that, he was going to embarrass you in front of your family and friends. So having said all that, if I'm starting a franchise, not only do I want to put people in the seats because Michael will do that, but his skill level was so far ahead of everyone else I'm going with MJ. You just mentioned MJ, and right. MJ has, you know, often called you like one of the toughest shooting guards. He, you know, he had to defend. had to defend. Right. Yeah. What was it like going against MJ? Right. Uh, first, first time seeing. I mean, well, I watched him in college, but I was right. in JUCO at the time, man. But first time actually seeing him live in front of you, mm -hmm. he was cat quick. Mm. And really? Yeah. At he, that he size, was cat quick, and he, he, he had the ability. To take one dribble and you try to get there and he was in the air already mm. so you know you had to do a lot of freaking <laughs> film work <laughs> on him because he had every move right mm. um and he can get by you with one step and once he mm -hmm. get by you he's taking uh. but one thing him he, you know you know he was gonna come at you each and every night every and, night and, and you know kobe had that same thing that you know and I think all the great ones have it that they're thirsty to score. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's like, I gotta get it. You know, yeah. I gotta get that bucket. And right. the defenders be like, God damn, this dude is crazy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta have that that mentality. There's been a lot of debate about, you know, who's the great, who's right. the greatest of all time. Obviously, a lot of people, they just overlook what Kobe has done. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, LeBron is great in his own right. right. Do you consider MJ the, the GOAT? Of course. Absolutely. Uh, of course, yeah. I, I mean, I. I went up against him each and every night. Right. You know what I mean? So And then you played with Kobe at the yep, Lakers. I played right. with Kobe and Kobe was I mean, he's 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 in that level. No question about it. But but Mike was Mike changed the game in so many other ways, not only on the court. Mm. But we couldn't stop Jordan. I mean, you know, I'm I'm looking at the highlights of Jordan and you know, every single time we double team Jordan down court. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he still averaged his his regular season average against the Pistons was 37.5. Good grief. And then some nights he would get hot, Q. <laughs> <laughs> man, that ain't hot. Okay. On, on, on a bad oh, night, right? we, was, we was double teaming him every single time. I'm talking about Jordan. Right. You know, and, you know, he dropped, he, he gave us 60, 63. I mean, he was just Ooh, unbelievable. So we, Pat, I couldn't chill, say Pat. that he was my Watch toughest it. to guard. Because oh, we was all Watch guarding it. him. Watch right. it. And when we wasn't guarding him, uh. he may have gotten a hundred. Mm. You know, literally. I mean that he was how do you, how do you, what do you think Jordan will average? Where do you think he would fit in? I mean, he can adapt his game to anything. He would fit in as the best player in the league. Like <laughs> that's where he would be. And you know I feel like if he'll have more possessions to do more things. But there's also more athleticism in this game. And it's more oh late in this game. But, you know, it's, it's also in more space for NJ to go to work. So, I mean, we'll never know. But for sure, I mean, he's a master, you know, masterful basketball player. Like we've been saying, his skill level is unmatched. So. And you take away his car, and hopefully he doesn't get his wake-up call to make it to the arena. But a player with Michael Jordan caliber, he is almost unstoppable at this time of the year. Can he ability to be able to create shots? and hang in the air and he's a warrior he's competitive he, there's just nobody like him i think he's the most outstanding player in the game gotta find a way to stop that fadeaway you're going there thinking you're going to stop michael jordan uh, you're going to be in for a long night you gotta pray and hope that he misses a lot of shots so fire time by michael jordan <laughs> pray and hope and, and real quick and he spins and turns and once he's hitting that shot so well like oh, going come down, here. it frustrates you a lot come here he's, he's so done there right there he's fading i'm not even george mills i can get to in georgia 7 7. in the past physically he just dominates you so much now he sets you up better uh he lures you better he has that killer instinct and uh that's what makes him so deadly when michael jordan gets down low i don't 
care who's playing him, he's almost impossible one-on-one -on -one to stop. In terms, it's easier to move the ball around uh, and hope that, you know, someone's going to make pass. this defense pay. Goodness, Jordan rules out. Uh, uh, they weren't running the, tri uh, the, the triangle offense. And what the triangle offense did was uh, it does not allow you to double him as much because there's constant movement now. That's why I think he's still as, as great as ever because you have to play him one-on-one -on -one most of the time now. I was a jump shot shooter, but I never had to rely upon that skill because I could get to the basket. You know, but now that the defenses are oh, as, as Detroit did for years, so I got to stop and pull up. I got to utilize the jump shot. I got to take what the defense gives me. I'm not going to go against the grain. I know what you're going to say, Kobe, Michael. Well, this is a, an interesting situation because about uh, 2000, I had the team, I was still probably 99 when I'm coaching the Lakers. Michael's out, he's been retired for a year, and he comes to a ball game and I said, let's meet in the uh, you know, chairman's room after the game. I want you to talk to Kobe a little bit. He, he tends to take over a game, you know, at a certain time in the game. And, and I think that, you know, if you convince him to just wait, just be patient, allow the game to kind of come to him when it's necessary for him to do some things because the team kind of loses their offensive direction. So I get in uh, this room and he sits down and he goes, first thing Kobe says is, I could kick your ass one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <That's laughs> <awesome. laughs> but not even letting him get anything out. There's no up. conversation. RP Mama, that's that mama mentality, man. I'll say back. You might. You, you might? Just you might. Said you, you might? Said, yeah, you said, I've been on the game a couple years. You just might. So who wins if you have to pick? No, nah, it's, it's going to be MJ. He's got that hand. He's got yeah. that, the glove, as the glove <laughs> used to be known. But when a guy can pick the ball up with one hand when he's dribbling like you know, Michael could do and do that and take the ball to the basket, it's very difficult. Michael Jordan is like, for basketball for me, he's the end-all be-all. Like, he's the best player I've ever seen. I believe he's the best player I'll ever see. I believe he'll be the best player a million years from now. I really believe that. I believe he is the best ever. Start with Michael Jordan. I mean, obviously, look, he's going to have some success against everybody. But as we watch some highlights here, take us through what's the approach? What are you trying to do? What are you thinking about with Michael Jordan across the way? Well, first of all, I'm really nervous about these highlights because those are the three of the best players in the history of the game. But Michael Jordan, uh, I did guard him a little bit when I was in Detroit. And, uh, of course, I guarded, I guarded Scotty a lot. But he was so efficient, was able to get what he wanted. And he did mo most of his domination was in that mid-post uh, area. Oh, what so you here? He got the shot that he wanted, whether it was from mid-range. Can we show post. some misses? I mean, hey, look, hey, look, Michael, working you over in the highlights. Mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, they didn't give me, I got him on the other end, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but Michael was so great, and, and what I loved about Michael, he just was efficient, he got the shot he wanted. Whatever you threw at him, he had a counter. He really didn't have a weakness in the mid post. And That's really what I see. I really like highlights. Michael Jordan, he and I are friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, he never changes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, he just doesn't change. He's the same guy all the time. And I still see him every once in a while. And give me that. this guy, has done more spectacular things than any basketball player I've ever seen. I agree. I mean, that, that, that's, Jerry, that is saying a lot. I agree. Consider I've ever seen. That, he's seen a that, lot. I, I, I know. I mean, <laughs> just to go, like I said, we've, we've worked backwards, obviously, from where he is now to where you were as a player. That, that speaks volumes, especially, I mean, number of years with the Lakers, player, Visor, I mean, you know, Terrell, the thing that people don't realize is some of the stuff he could do. He was the best mm. defensive player in the league. Yeah, oh, he was yes, playing. absolutely. He was the best offensive. He was just one of those players that just didn't have any weaknesses in this game. Uh, you know, when he first probably came in the league, you know, everybody talked about he wasn't a good outside shooter. He became a good outside shooter. Uh, Everybody talked about it. he couldn't shoot the three-point shot. He became a decent three-point uh, shooter. Uh, you know, down low, he didn't have a post-up game. Develop a post-up game. Uh, he said he wasn't a, truly a good ball handler. Yeah. Became a good ball handler. Uh, defensively, he was just incredible on that right. end of the court. And so, but he's probably. I think what separated him from everybody is that his mind, you know what I mean? He was probably one of the most 
I want to say, well, well, not brilliant, but mm -hmm. probably one mm -hmm. of the most intellectual basketball player players that That's I didn't play against. You know, what he's way. always thinking the game. He's always thinking ahead, and you could just see. And uh, his mind is always working. You know what I mean? And I, I would say this: he probably mm, was the best, head. fundamentally sound superstar ah. that I didn't played against. Mm -hmm. You know, from the standpoint of he didn't do a lot. He just got the spots on the court. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just like a surgeon. He just get over here. I want to get a shot there. I'm pump fake you. Take one or two dribbles. I'm get to that spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so. You never see him, hardly see him take a bad, bad shot. Right. You know, oh always on balance. Uh, he was just fundamentally sound. That's I think that's why the game was so easy to him. Right. You know what I mean? Because he took that, the fundamentals that he had, mm -hmm. and put it with the athleticism and the mind that he had, and Cramming the game looked the simple. Ass. Right. Real simple to him. Right. He made it oh look real, real easy. Yeah, but it was very hard. Right. <laughs> it's very hard to go out there and scored 30 plus points a night right. you know in the nba back then right you know what i mean where and the game was to guard the toughest guy yeah when the game was physical and and you can you know really get into your guy and 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 put your hands on them and you know the fear of them coming down the lane against us that's an, that's a fact because i didn't even know there was a no um three second rule back then let me know in the comments if y'all knew that no three second rule, they camping in the paint like this. Nope. You know what I'm talking about? It was you know, already, you know. Back whatever game uh, you were playing against, you know. It, it was just totally different. And that's the end of this one, y'all. If you enjoyed this Michael Jordan reaction, man, make sure you click make sure you click on the last Michael Jordan reaction on your screen right now. We're gonna go to five thousand subscribers. Make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which one we to react to next. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on the gram at Lil Uncle Official. Link in the description, man. Oh, my Models affiliate link is also in the description. If you're looking to have Models, man, if you use my link, it'll be greatly appreciated, and you'll be helping your boy out. I'm out of here.